What's up everybody, it's your favorite pretender's favorite nerd. Today we are looking at Mastermind Creations Fella Saber, which is their homage to Catilla, but he also forms a Pritiking. It's a little confusing for me, but um, this is him. And he comes with some accessories. We'll talk about those. One is this rifle here, single cast, uh, no paint. Uh, some cool line work, but you know, like this little Parts in there would have been painted, like the barrel, you know, just would have really put it over the top, but no such a luck. It also comes with uh, these bits here. Now, you might be asking, why aren't you opening up this and showing us? Because I'm not sure if this has been opened, and this is actually on loan to me from uh, a friend of mine, Evan. So he wanted me to take a look at it, and I wanted to take a look at it, so it just kind of worked out that way. I've heard that it comes with some replacement parts for Bovis or Fortis, and it comes with the little Happy Feet of Tron. Um, they were not in the box that he gave me, so I, I, can't, I can't account for those. The other accessory that he comes with is this uh, headpiece here, which I really like because it is more of the, the head nod to the Pretender aspect of Catilla. And... That's what kind of really entices me to get this piece, uh, even though I don't have him yet. That and the fact that uh, it comes with a little penguin, in theory, is a very, very big allure for me. But you can take this off. I'm not going to be putting this back on him um, because it is somewhat of a pain to get off and on. Um, but it snaps off the head, and then you kind of just got to wiggle out these teeth and I just don't want to scratch the paint on here or cause any harm because it, it, it just isn't mine. Um, so it, some nice blue paint on the eye, there's some little bit of nicks in there so something to be on the, on the lookout for but a nice like metallic blue like sky blue gray silver paint to these teeth here and it gives them a really cool look. Uh, I, I like this an awful lot. You can uh, fold these feet up and there's like this little hinge in here that tabs in to the arm and the articulation is slightly hindered when it's on the cat but not a whole lot because you do have this ball peg on a hinge here which does give it a little bit of mobility so let's talk about articulation I've already gone over this with Tigris but uh whatever so we got a hinge here for the head the main is on a hinge so you can get some really dynamic poses um, the mouth does open. I'm going to be very careful. There you go. Um, and you can get a pretty extreme angle, so no problems there. Nice red metallic visor on the cat's eyes, shoulders, ratcheted in and out, up and down. It's like a universal. And uh, we got a swivel here at the bicep, double hinge knees. Um, Oh, there's also a hinge here at the at the shoulder, so that's pretty cool. And then the the foot is on a hinge here and swivel, so that's cool. Same on the other side. And we got a waist swivel. We got a little bit of a you know like pouncy pose, like ab reverse ab crunch, or maybe it is an ab crunch. I, I can't remember now until I get them in bot mode. Uh, feet are on a, a, a a hinge that's connected here, same one, and then connects into there. It's like a ball jointed hinged swivel. Um, and then double jointed knee, and then uh, ball peg for an ankle, which is cool. And then same here. The tail is on a hinge here and a hinge there. So articulation wise, uh, this guy's really, he's really built like a champ. So my advice is to get this tail out of the way. Especially me because I really don't want to break this thing. Even though you know MMC stuff is usually built like a like a Mack truck, uh, it it would be just my luck that he would break. Um, open these flaps up here. Now I always go from bot mode to uh, alt mode. Well, I always go how it's packaged to the opposite mode. Um, but this one is on loan for me, and I already have 
uh, a video showing the opposite transformation, so um, I'll just show the reverse. And then this folds up. There's not a lot of wiggle room in there, so you kind of really got to nail the, the tolerances. And then, let's see. Like that. that. So, same on the other side. Open this flap. Foot swivels around. Collapses inside itself. Try to flatten that out the best you can on that ball peg. Which I said but didn't do. And then bring that down and collapse and then fold all that. Good to go. Uh, open these here on the back. You can extend the foot at that point. Bring that around. Open up the uh, leg. Collapse. Bring the foot down. Same on the other side here. Open that up. Unfold the leg. And bring that back around. And there you have have that done. Let's uh, get the camera up a little bit. So a swivel there. Um, this bit of business here is like on an L slider, so. hard to see exactly where you are and I'm trying to be very careful because I don't want to break it but it, it rotates up too. I'll see if I can't mess with it. Um, then fold this cat head down, turn it around, get the head straight. Open up the forearms, bring the hand out, close the forearms. Same on the other side. And that's basically it. Let me see if I can't get these shoulders off camera. Uh, it, it was giving me a fair amount of grief. I found that like instead of trying to pull up, if you rotate the shoulder around and push down, it, it just gives you a little bit more leverage. So um, head is on a ball peg, um, but the peg doesn't articulate just the head on this ball joint, but you get pretty much, I mean, full range of motion. So that's good there. Head itself got the red paint and the blue metallic paint on the eyes. Looks really good. <clears throat> the red paint could have come around the other side of the chin a little bit more. You see that in there? I mean, not hateful, just pointing it out. Uh, red plastic there. It looks like, is that paint? It looks like, it looks like just another piece of red plastic tap, tapped on and silver paint on the red plastic. Um, we got a waist swivel and an ab crunch, which is cool. Uh, shoulders, same articulation there. Double jointed elbow, just like the cat. Uh, wrist is on a hinge. Same on the other side. Um, I prefer the more streamlined uh, thigh look, but you can, uh, you know, as normal, rotate these yellow bits around and have them on the side if you prefer that. That's totally up to you and your aesthetic choices. Uh, thigh swivel, hips are on ratcheted universals, no problems there. Uh, hin uh, sw ratcheted knees work like a champ. Uh, you got a hinge for the ankle articulation. You have a hinge into a ball peg with the foot on a ball joint, so full articulation there. <clears throat> a 
paint wise it's, it's uh, a lot of good choices I think um, like the the breakup between gray yellow and black with the accents of, of red even like these two little red dots there it's stuff like that that I feel like really takes a figure and puts them over the top um, I'll be honest with you like I want this guy like I'm debating on whether or not um, to give this guy back to my buddy all right let's see if we can't make this happen Hey, what's up, man? Hey, man, what's going on, man? Not a whole lot. Oh, cool. Why you like a fellow shaker, man? I'll be honest with you, man. Like, I, I like, I like him a lot. I, I like him a lot. I think I'm gonna end up getting one. Um, good, good. Real quick, though, I, I, I got something I gotta tell you. Um, All right. I, I, I can't find him, dude. Like, I misplaced him. Like, I'm looking everywhere for him, and like, I, I can't find. Him. Like, yeah, I got two kids. You know, I got a couple dogs. So, like, I, I don't know if one of them. Like ran off with them. Like I'm, 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 I'm trying to find him. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby, I'm, I'm gonna stop you right there. How about you find my fellow saber? Or I'm gonna f you up. I, come on, man. You don't really. I mean, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll keep, I'll keep looking for him. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I'm gonna stop you there again. In all seriousness, you find my toy, or I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna f you up. Oh, like legit. Oh, dude, dude, hold on. I, you're not gonna. I just found him. I just found him. It's all good, man. I'll, um, I, I just, it's the weirdest thing. I'm sitting here. I saw him underneath the couch. I'll yeah. box him all up for you. I'll, I'll have him to you tomorrow. I know you will. You got it right. right. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm definitely giving it back. But you might think to yourself, that's an odd place for a skid jump. And yes, it is. And the reason why is because this thing, getting it to plug in, is a super pain in the balls. So... Uh, I, I wanted to make sure I did it off camera so I didn't fiddle, fiddle about with it for so long. The gun, he holds like a champ. This, he does hold well, and it's cool. Um, like, it's a super cool look. Uh, but it is a huge pain to tab in. Um, so just when you, when you go to do it, uh, just be very, very mindful. Not that it's going to break or anything. It's just, it's just hard to do. So when you, when you go to tab it in... Uh, my, my advice is to hold, it tabs in right there, my advice is to hold the back of the hand and push that against the hand to use as some sort of balancing piece, and then just try to insert it on, and what happens is that tab just flaps down, so that's kind of a pain. Real quick, I have good news. So I was going to transform him to put him into uh, Ultimate Predaking mode, or whatever that is, and I went to rotate this up, and I was like, you know what, I should check in here. There is the penguin. I am so happy that he is in there. He is a super awesome. I don't know why I think this is so cool, but I really do. Little, uh, little wings there. Or is that technically a wing? Ooh, that, that one's tight. I'm not going to mess with that. It's not mine. I have to remember it's not mine. But he's pretty awesome. Okay, here he is in ultimate mode or whatever, and... I gotta eat a little bit of crow. I thought it was gonna turn him into a mess, but he's still pretty solid. Um, the cool thing is you can put his accessory up there and you can take his gun and clip it into the bottom of this gun and then add that back on by clipping these two pegs into the feet. So you can still utilize all the accessories and it all kind of works. That's pretty cool. The back You know, it's, I hope you can see that. It's now much more kibbly, you know, it sticks out a bunch more. Um, but he's still, like, he's not going to fall. Like, he still supports the weight really well. So, um, I can't imagine having your Predaking look like this because it's just, you know, it's not the Predaking that you grew up with. But it's still super functional. So it's got that going for it. So, final thoughts wise, you know, I like to start with the negative just to get it out of the way. And... The negative to this is really just that this thing has a hard time going on his hand. It's $100 for a fairly obscure character. It's funny because when you start thinking about it, like after these third parties and masterpieces, you know, exhaust the, so to speak, the, you know, A-list, you know, how much are people really willing to spend for the C-list, D-list characters? Uh, Catilla is a very obscure character for people to spend a hundred bucks on which is why I didn't 
and also because it was you know it's it is a repaint and a slight retool of Tigris. So I already have that mold, and a hundred bucks for the same mold for a fairly fairly obscure character. That's that's kind of a personal question you have to ask yourself. But I gotta say, having messed with him now, I am a believer. Um, I want this guy. I do. It's it's the little things. Like it's a repaint and a retool, but like, but still a lot of thought went into making this thing unique. You know, like they gave that helmet for the you know the pretender nod. Like, if it would have come even with more armor upgrades I could have transformed and combined into something else, like, that would have really sealed the deal for me. But even the thought and how they did just the helmet of the cat is really pretty clever and pretty smart, and it just shows a little bit of dedication, and it shows a little bit of pride and the, the want and need to impress the consumer. Other stuff like, you know, the little penguin in the chest and all that, like, it's not like this, like, bag of surprises and i really really dig that I, I dig the face sculpt i love that the gun like the pistol connects to the uh combiner mode cannon like i would never combine them but just the fact that they thought that sort of thing out it really shows something about the the kind of the engineering behind this whole feral rex beast which you know is one of my favorite pieces in my collection yeah i, got, I gotta say I, I recommend this guy he is he is pricey and he is obscure um, but if you can get past those two hurdles, I think you'll enjoy them. Oh, real quick, something I almost forgot. I had to change the way I do business a little bit. My channel's been growing, and I really appreciate all the support I've got for people and all the views and so forth and, you know, and comments and all that sort of thing. Uh, I, appreciate, I appreciate it all, quite honestly. But with this growth, uh, a few degenerates are getting in here and there. And I just have to change the way I do business. As you all know, I reply to every comment. It's fairly time consuming. But if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing. So I feel like it's worth it. But from now on, if there is a super negative comment made, I'm just deleting it. I'm deleting it and I'm banning you from the channel. Uh, I'm not talking about someone criticizing my opinion or someone debating my opinion or saying that I did something wrong and the transformation is something, nothing like that. I'm talking about just negativity. I'm instantly banning you. I just don't have the time for it. I can't put up with it, uh, unfortunately. And it's a very minute crowd, but I just, I just had to change the way I do business because um, the bigger I get, the more dumbasses are going to be let into the room. So that's cool. I'll, I'll just adapt and overcome. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care.